From draft day to walking down the aisle, 2012 was a big year for defensive tackle Michael Brockers. We caught up with his wife, Faith, to talk about what it means to be married to the game. Faith, let's take a moment to talk about becoming a Ram. I know that in 2012, Michael was drafted, but that essentially meant that you were too. What was that experience like for you? Uh, me and my mom and my brothers watched it on TV. So we were just really anxious watching it on TV. So as soon as his name got called, we were screaming. My mom and myself were screaming. So that, it was very exciting. Okay, and I understand you guys had contact while he was there. So you weren't just completely out of the loop. Talk to me about what those text messages were like. Um, we had um, text messages between each other pre pretty much before Dallas got on the clock. And once Dallas was on the clock, no more texting for you two? No. So you were at that point completely out of the loop. Yes. And then you found out he was going to become a Ram. You two were going to become a part of the Rams family. What did that feel like? It felt amazing. Um, I never really heard of the Rams before um, going to the Rams, but I was very excited just because I knew Michael was excited. Michael ended up signing with the Rams, mm -hmm. but he also made another big decision. He got down on one knee. Walk me through that moment for you. Well, that moment um, was totally unexpected. I just went about my day, started doing my hair. So as he comes back, Half of my hair is flat ironed, the other half isn't. So he's just like, we need to talk. And I'm just like, oh boy, like what's going on? So as soon as he gets down on one knee, I'm thinking like, man, my hair isn't done. Of course I said yes, <laughs> but after I said yes, I went to go redo my hair before I took any pictures. <laughs> I don't blame you. So here you were moving to a new city and you were also planning a wedding. What was that like? How did you manage that? Well, my mom still lives in Houston, so she was amazing. It was almost like she was planning her own wedding. Like she was like very in tune um, to my needs. I also had an amazing wedding planner. So like she pretty much picked everything. She would give me like three choices and I was just like, okay, I really like this one. So between the two of them, I, it was very smooth. And I was really anxious because I was just like, I don't know how I'm gonna do that but as soon as it started rolling, it was very smooth. And other things are very smooth. You have been married a year now, congratulations. And your Twitter is a dead giveaway that you are a very, very proud wife. Mm -hmm. What is your proudest moment of Michael on the field? When we played the Texans last year, he really came and dominated. We're both from Houston, so it was very proud to see him do so well. You also mentioned that you get pretty nervous on mm -hmm. game day. Explain to me how you calm those nerves. Do you have any game day rituals? What do you do? Um, first, to calm me down, um, I just pray, just because I know football is so dangerous. And then secondly, I send him Bible verses and just give him encouraging words. Okay, that's a, a great ritual to have. We talked game day rituals. Now let's talk who's next to you on the sidelines, those game day confidants. Who is that for you? Um, I will say Alex Adams, which is Alec Ogletree's fiance. We're really, really close, and she's pretty much always ne sitting next to me during game days. We're always um, around each other during game days, so it's really, really com comforting for her to be there. I understand that you're also close outside of the dome, mm -hmm. and that you guys have a tradition of double dating. Mm -hmm. Is that true? <laughs> yes, that's <Okay>. true. <laughs> Where is your go-to double date spot? We go to the dine-in movie theater on Olive. Um, we really like it, the AMC. And I know that you also are pretty close to Robert. Mm -hmm. In the off season, you guys went as far to support him in mm -hmm. Hawaii. Tell me about that experience for you and Michael. Um, it was a very, very great experience. It was great to just hang out with the D-Line family. Um, we were there with Chris Long. We were there with Will Hayes. It was really nice for all of us to come together and support Rob because we were all really proud of him. So it was really fun. The game was amazing. Um, team Rice won, which was actually Robert's t team. So it was very, very fun to go and watch him accomplish everything he set out to accomplish. You guys truly are, and this is gonna be corny and cliche, but one big happy Ramily. Yeah. Have you found that through this process? Yes, I definitely have. 
Okay. And I also know that you have some talents of your own, mm -hmm. including you're quite the pianist. Yes. <laughs> would you mind showing me a piece? Yes, I would. Faith, the whole world's been able to see Michael's skills on the field, but we haven't been able to see yours as a pianist quite yet. Mm -hmm. But first, tell me how this all got started. Well, when I was younger, my mom and dad had me in um, piano lessons, and I just recently picked it back up about a year ago, and I've been doing really well in it. All right, well, without further ado, let's see these skills. That was wonderful and certainly something I could not do. But now, thanks to you, Rams Nation knows that you can. So thank you guys for watching Married to the Game.